Pulse Chain is finally live. How can you connect your MetaMax wallet to Pulse Chain? The first thing you're going to have to do would be to log into your MetaMax wallet. Once you're logged in, come over here where you have Ethereum mainnet, click on that. That's going to display this right here, add a network. Okay. So you're going to click on the add network button and that's going to display this page. Okay. So if you look very closely, you can see we have other networks here, the Arbitrum network, the whatever network. Okay. So since the post chain network is a new network, it just went live. You would have to go down this page. You will see where it says add a network manually. You're going to click on that. And once you click on that, this page is going to be displayed. This is where you would have to put in important details. So where are you going to get these details? You're going to come to the post chain website. Please make sure you're interacting with the right website. I'm going to make sure I have the correct links in the description of this video. So you don't click wrong links. If you make the mistake of clicking on the wrong links, you could be scammed. So this is what we need. Network name is post chain. So I'm going to go over to my MetaMax and write post chain. So come back here and type post chain. The next is the new RPC URL. So I'm going to come over here and copy this URL here. And come over here and paste it. The next one to fill out here is the chain ID. Again, the chain ID is 369. So I'm going to come here and key in 369. And the next is the currency symbol. The currency symbol is the PLS symbol. So I'm going to key that in. And the next, but the last one here is the block explorer URL. Of course, it's optional. So you come back here and copy this URL. And then I'm going to come here and paste it. Once you have all of these details, the next will be to click on the save button. And then as you can see, network added successfully. Now, if I want to switch to post chain, I can simply click on the switch button. If I want to dismiss this, I could click on the dismiss. So let's click on this. Boom, switched. So now I have switched to the post chain. Okay. So this is pretty much how you can do it. The next question is how can you import tokens? So to do that, you would come to this website here. And again, I'm going to leave the links in the description. So once you're here, click on that tab there, that's going to show you this. Okay. So go to where it says tokens. That's going to display those sub tabs there. Click on where it says all. And that's going to display all the tokens. Okay. So let's say you want to add the POS token, this one right here, any of these tokens, you can decide to add any of them. Say you want to add this one, just click on it. And that's going to display the following details. All you need to do is to click on this copy button right there. Those overlapping squares, you click on that and that's copied and notice what you've just copied are all the details related to this. So I'm going to come back to MetaMax, click on where it says import tokens, and that's going to display all of this. So all I need to do is to paste that contract address I just copied in here. And notice what just happened. It automatically imported the token symbol and the number of decimals. So all I need to do is to click on add custom token down here. And as you can see here, it shows me the token I'm trying to import, the symbol and the balance I have as at the time of doing this. All I need to do now is down this page, click on the button that says import tokens. And boom, this is done. It has been imported. Now, as you can see, I have zero POS X tokens, right? This is pretty much it. If I want to send it, I can click on the send button and do whatever I want to do with it. So this is it for this video. Stay safe out there. Don't fall prey to scammers. Follow me for more videos on these new decks and more important videos in crypto in general. This is Brizel B. Zenzio Gaiken. Sign off.